Welcome to the project management module of the project development and construction methods course. This module will run for three weeks and will consist of an equivalent 18 hours contact time. During these three weeks you should plan on approximately 36 hours of self-study time. The self-study time is in addition to the time you spend with prepared material and discussions with the instructors on the course website. The purpose of this module is to provide you with a common understanding and vocabulary for management of projects and de develop a set of tools that will enhance your ability to manage projects. The overarching goal is to provide you with tools and practice with those tools to help you be a successful project manager. We want you to be successful in each and every job assignment because you have the appropriate tools in your toolkit. You can't always rely on having enough time to learn by doing, that is making and correcting errors on the flies. You will not always be lucky enough to master your assignment before your supervision and clients lose their patience. Luck won't work either. Armin Hammer, the successful oil, oil entrepreneur and the CEO of Occidental Petroleum Company, when asked what characteristics made for, for successful businessmen, he said simply luck. Then he added how strange it was that the lucky people he knew, knew worked 14 hours a day. So the moral is here, you can't trust on luck. Well, you may not need to work 14 hours a day. Then again, you might. No matter how much time you spend in the job, we want you to be successful. Many studies have been conducted to determine what makes a successful project. For years, common wisdom considered a project successful that was delivered on time, within budget, and the products met the agreed to requirements. However, actual measured results indicate in the long run, all that is needed for a successful project is to have a satisfied customer and deliverables that meet requirements. The bad news, however, is that if the project is late and or over budget, the project manager, manager doesn't usually survive. That's you. We want you to manage successful projects and survive the experience. So we consider a successful project one that meets four criteria. One, provides agreed to deliverables, two requirements, is on time or early, is on or under budget, and has a satisfied customer. Every textbook I've ever seen comes to the conclusion the way to study project management is to follow the life cycle of a project. Simply four steps. One, charter the project. Two, plan the project. Three, execute, monitor, and fix deviations from the plan. And finally, a project closeout. We will follow this project life cycle in the modules of this course. Simply put, first you must get agreement with stakeholders on what it is you are to deliver and generate a clear, measurable vision of success. Then you must prepare a plan to accomplish that common vision of success. Third, you track your project to the plan and you solve the problems that invariably arise to derail your project. Finally, you will close out the project, which in some cases is just a simple acknowledgement the job is complete. 